On the 2nd of September, 31 BC, Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa defeated Mark Antony at the Battle of Actium. Despite an obscure and lowly background, Agrippa rose to be the powerful deputy of Augustus, helping him take power after Julius Caesar's murder in 44 BC. And his life is a powerful example of masculinity in service of the community. Shortly after Julius Caesar's murder, Agrippa spent two years away on successful campaigns in Aquitania and on the Rhine River. When he returned to Italy, he declined a triumph, the greatest possible Roman honour. He was simply doing his duty. Soon afterwards, he became consul. Despite no naval experience, he then won two decisive naval battles against Sextus Pompeius in 36. He had built his own harbour, his own ships, invented a new weapon and sunk 30 ships while only losing three himself. He was awarded a golden crown, but again declined a triumph. He then went on to quell rebellions and found colonies, administering parts of the empire before becoming magistrate of public works and buildings. Despite this being a lower post than his consulship, and despite no experience in the role, he embraced it and excelled in it. He introduced not only a new administration policy, but a permanent staff, creating the model for successive generations. He cleaned the sewers, built baths, scrubbed the water supply, and oversaw the construction of 700 cisterns and 130 water towers. When the city's budget ran out, he used his own money. And then came the confrontation with Mark Antony at the Battle of Actium in 31. Agrippa smashed Antony's forces, sinking or capturing 200 ships, forcing the Egyptian fleet to flee mid-battle. Antony fled with them, but Agrippa pursued, landing at Alexandria and defeating the Egyptians on land. Octavian then annexed Egypt, changing his name to Imperator Augustus Caesar. And that was the beginning of the Roman Empire. Agrippa went on to conduct the empire's first census, purge the Senate, over which he was given full veto power, and build the Pantheon, still standing, remarkably, in almost entirely its original form today. He also fought wars in Spain and Illyria, declining two more triumphs. Late in life, he established colonies for the veterans who had served with him. When Agrippa died, Augustus himself gave his eulogy, spent a month in mourning, and buried him in his own mausoleum. And whenever you measure anything in feet, remember Agrippa. His foot was the standard.